an arm. What are we doing today? Making chocolate cakes. Ooh, chocolate cakes. And have you had chocolate cakes before? No. No? Why not? Mm, because it has egg in <gasps> You're right, Hanam. Chocolate cakes, usually in shops, chocolate cakes have egg in. And what about tamba eggs? Are we allowed to eat eggs? No. No. And why is that? Because Singhamese don't eat meat. Good girl. We don't eat meat. Fish or eggs, do we? No. Well done. So today, it's everyone's lucky day because we are going to be teaching how to make eggless chocolate cupcakes. Yum, I am so hungry. Are you? Yes. So, shall we start? Yes. Excellent. So kids, all you need for this, it's such a simple recipe and I'm sure you can make it with the help of an adult, remember. So, what's the first thing we should do? Wash our hands. Excellent. So let's go now and wash our hands. So, our hands are all clean. Are yours? Excellent, so let's get cracking now again kids. This recipe is so simple, so all you need, it's very, very simple. Now, see this mug? I think every household has one of these mugs. If not, I'm using a cup recipe, so I'm using this as one cup. So for this beautiful cake, all you need is two cups of self-raising flour. So that's two full cups of those. So self-raising flour is the best. Uh, so that's two cups there. Then, Hanam, we need one cup of sugar, so you half the sugar, okay? How many is that? One. One cup of sugar. And again, I use caster sugar because it's best as it dissolves quicker. You can use normal sugar. I have been using normal sugar in the past, but caster sugar works better. So that's one cup of caster sugar. One teaspoon of baking powder, okay? Because we don't eat eggs, we have to use an alternative. So I'm using baking powder, one teaspoon, and a pinch of bicarbonate soda. Again, that adds up and it makes our eggy consistency. So that's baking powder and bicarbonate. Then, a chocolate cake is not complete without chocolate, is it? Mmm, we need chocolate. Yummy. So instead of chocolate, I'm not going to actually use a real chocolate bar because it will just burn in the cake. We use cocoa powder. Now, cocoa powder is this, chocolate powder. Okay, excellent. So we've got, I've used three um, tablespoons of cocoa powder. Now, again, you can trial it out. So I don't, I like measuring, but if I see that the cake's not looking right, you can always add some more cocoa powder, which I'll show you later. Now, also you need 250 grams of butter or margarine. Now, I'm using margarine today because it's a chocolate cake, so I want it extra spongy and extra moist. Um, so, you 250 grams of this, and it has to be left at room temperature. So, room temperature means you just leave it out in the room for like half an hour. So, that's your butter. I'm going to use a little bit of normal um, milk, which you can find in your fridge. So, it can be any coloured top milk, blue or green, it's totally up to you. Some vanilla essence for the extra flavouring. Yep, do you like vanilla? Yep, so did you know the kids, you can actually buy any flavour you want. You can buy lemon, strawberry flavour. What flavour do you like? Uh, um, strawberry. Strawberry. So you can make any kind of cake you want. Because it's chocolate, I'm going to use vanilla. Um, you can also buy chocolate flavouring as well, and it comes in a tube. But please, kids, you have to make sure you read the ingredients for vanilla essence because most vanilla essences have alcohol in. So you have to make sure yours does not contain alcohol because we don't drink alcohol, do we? Good girl. And of course, the most important ingredient because we're not using eggs, yep, we are using um, a tin of evaporated milk. So this is very important as well. So these are our ingredients and that's it. You know, I'm sure you've got half of these at home. If not, all you really need to buy is the cocoa powder, and the vanilla essence, yeah? yeah? Excellent, so shall we start? Yes. Perfect. So we are making cupcakes. Um, so also for cupcakes, now you can either make this into a cake or a cupcake. So all you need for cupcakes are cupcake cases and an, uh, a tray which has cupcake um, holders in. If you're making this into a cake, you can make it into a two-tiered uh, cake as well. Um, for that, you just need um, round tins as well. So not too deep and not too small either. So we've got all our ingredients. Check. Okay, so we're going to start first of all with the butter. It's going to pour it into my bowl. Oh. What does this look like? Very, is it soft or hard? Hard. 
yet. So, as it's been left at room temperature, it needs to be soft, so that's why I'm using margarine. So if you just have a look, just going to quickly beat it. But with the margarine, we're going to beat all of our sugar. Do you like sugar? Yeah. In goes the sugar. I'm going to give this a good be oops, beat. So it really needs to be smooth. Does that look soft? Yep. Yeah. So as you can see, all we're doing is getting the sugar beaten into the um, into the butter, the margarine. That's great. So what, it should look like that. What I do normally is I use one of those machines because I'm a bit lazy and it beats it very well. But for the purpose of this show, I'm going to just do it with my hand. Now, if like mine, um, your mixture is stuck to your whisk, don't worry because next, all we're going to do into this, what we're going to put into this is now some vanilla essence. Smell this one now and tell me what it smells like. Smell that. Mm. Nice. It smells nice. Mmm, very nice. So, I'm going to put in about, again, I don't really measure, so I've put one cup and I'm going to put one more little lid. Okay? Vanilla is not very strong, so you can put as much as you like. Stir it a bit more. What colour is that? Yellow. Yeah, it's a yellow creamy texture. The more you beat the margarine, the fluffier your cake. Okay? So, now in this, we are going to add our milk. Okay? Our condensed milk. So that's just one tin. So now, can you see that? Excellent. What we're going to do now is beat this again. And now you'll notice oh, that your whisk will start to become clean. Is this lumpy, Hanam? This is very lumpy. But this is how it's meant to look. Because once you put the flour in, it's all going to get smooth. So, we've put the sugar in, we've put the butter in, the vanilla essence, and the milk. Now what's left is our flour. I'm just going to pour the flour in now, but we are going to sift the flour so we don't have no lumps. Okay, so to do this, all I'm going to do is tap. Making sure you don't get the sides like I am. Mmm, smell all that. Smells yummy, doesn't it? Tip. If you want to get do this fast, just use a spoon, go round and round. The chocolate cake is so easy. It's just flour, sugar, butter. So look at this mixture. So if you don't want a chocolate cake, you can just leave it as it is and um, put it straight into the oven. But where well, is chocolate? So what I'm going to do is quickly whisk this with my hands. Add in our baking powder and bicarbonate soda. We're going to mix. Now, it's still, you might think, oh, it looks very thick, yeah? I want it to be a thick consistency, but we need to add in the cocoa powder. Okay, here you go. Pour one big spoon in. Good girl. One more. One more. Big spoon. Mm, do you like chocolate? I love chocolate. Do a bit more. Excellent. So, this was about three tablespoons. Now, this is going to go really thick, so that's why we've got normal milk, okay? In goes the milk. And you can add water to make it a bit more runny, or you can just add some more milk. So, look at this. What does it smell like, Hanam? Mmm, very chocolatey. I can't wait to eat this. Do you like chocolate? So, again, as I said, if you feel that the colour is too light, add in more cocoa powder. I'm just going to put all this in. Mmm, look at that, Hannah. I'm just going to add a bit more milk. Just a little bit. Have a go. Why don't you stir slowly? What 
What does it feel like? Hard. <laughs> Are you having fun making cakes? Tell me when you're tired. <laughs> Aww. So kids, it's such an easy recipe. And you can do this with your parents. You can bake with your parents, family, friends. It's just a nice way of spending time together. And also, children, as it's the Seek Channel, yeah? And we're Sings and Singnia. What should we do when we stir? What? Good girl, we should do Simran. Why should we do Simran? Because... Vaigru Simran goes into the food and then it goes inside our body. So come on, you can start. Do your Simran. Stare and do Vaigru, Vaigru. Loudly, can I hear you? So let's do it together, okay? Hold my hand. Hold on, let go. Hold my hand. So Vaigru, Vaigru, Vaigru. Or you could also do more than that. So kids, all you're doing is mixing to get rid of those lumps, okay? It's really important you get rid of the lumps in a chocolate cake, otherwise you're going to have lumpy, lumpy bits in your actual cupcake, okay? So if you want to use a hand blender, you can, or if you want to carry on whisking, you can. But remember to have an adult, because your, is your arm hurting? Well, it can do if you, you know, if you do it all on your own. This smells divine. Mm. And the best thing, it's eggless. And you can bake it at home, so you don't even need to go to the shop. Save your money. Do you buy a cake? No. Oh, yeah, no, no. It can get expensive, can't it? Yes. Do you have a piggy bank? <laughs> Do you use it? <laughs> okay, this looks done. So, just whisk it as much as you can to let the air in. And again, it's very important to um, sift your ingredients as well. Because it's egg an eggless cake, we need air in it, okay? And that's only going to come through doing all of that. So we've added in all of our ingredients. Yummy. So what we're going to do to this is transfer it into our cupcake cases. And then we're going to start the baking process. So, my arms are aching, joke. So, we've done the mixture, yeah? We've um, stirred it really, we've mixed it really well. Now then, now's the yummy bit, it's time to spoon. So they're nearly done, okay? So, all we need to do now is get two spoons. I'll, I'll do one, then you can do the rest, yeah? Now we're just gonna spoon the mixture into here. So, if you look at this, one spoon, I usually put two tablespoons of mixture into per cupcake case. If you want to be extra fancy, you can use an ice cream scoop to make it all level, but this works perfectly fine as well. So that's one mixture. Look at this yummy mixture. So there's no lumps in this. Okay, so that's what you're aiming for. So I'm going to do two mixtures per cupcake case. One. Count with me, Hanam. Two. And again, you can find these in your local supermarket, any colour. Um, I usually go for the bigger size for a bigger cake. But you can have the smaller sizes as well. So all I'm doing is spooning in two tea <laughs> tablespoons of mixture. And I'm going to help me in a minute. Good. Let me just do these and then you can have them. Now this mixture, which I've told you about, makes about 24 cupcakes. So that's quite a lot. Isn't it? Yes. Mm. So it's definitely worth trying these. And again, the smell of the cocoa, the smell of the vanilla essence, it's just beautiful. And also another tip, kids, is to definitely have one of these muffin trays. Because I used to make cakes when I was little. And I never had one of these, so I used to just leave them in an open tray. And guess what, Hanam? All the cake, all the cake would leak out of the cupcake and they weren't, they were never in shape. They were all gloopy and you don't want that. So the tip for a perfect cupcake is have one of these trays because it keeps the cake into shape. Mmm. This one needs more. Do you want to do this one, Hanam? Here you go. Be very careful. 
You put it in there and I'll get the spoon. Yep. Good girl like this. So if we hold it together. Yes. Well done. Put that back in there. Excellent. So we've got 12 here. We're going to do another 12 because I said it makes 24. Yep. Of course you can. So we're going to um, now fill up the other cases I've got, which are here. So hold on, you can do these. So be careful because it can get messy. So remember what I said, use two spoons, kids, to take out the runny mixture. Okay, let's have a look. Let's do it like this. Let go. Like this. One more. Come on. Where's your elbow grease? Come on. Excellent. Good girl. If I just take this out. Yep. Oh, it's messy, isn't it? Yeah. Very messy. Very sticky. But it's chocolate. Mm. Can you give me a kiss, Of course I can. Give me a second. So all we're doing is putting the mixture into the cases. It's okay, leave it. Right. Okie dokie. Nearly done. Now then, do you have oven gloves, Hanam? Yes, you do. We're going to use an oven glove, kids, to put the mixture. Yep, there you go. You can do these closer ones, okay? So let me just do these and I'll give them to you. Are you having fun? What other cake do you like? Do you like plain cake? So again, you can do the exact same, but not, just don't add the extra milk and the cocoa powder. Here, Hannah, let me give you the spoons and you can pour it in, okay? Oops, put it in. Oh, careful. So if you hold it like that, oh, careful. And now, I'll take it off the spoons. One more. Come on, put it in there and then I'll do the rest. Well done. So now that we've placed our yummy mixture into our cupcake cases, we're going to now place them in the oven. Kids, what do I always say the oven is? Hot. Hot, hot. So, with the help of oven gloves and an adult, so I'm not going to let you do this, Hanam, because it's very, very dangerous, because the oven's very hot. We're going to place our cupcakes into the oven. So I'm using gloves because the oven's hot and you don't, you don't want to burn yourself. So, in they go. That's one of our trays. This is our second. So, let's put this into the oven. So, our cupcakes are now baking in the oven and I've left them on 175 um, degrees. Oh, that's gas mark four or five if you've got a normal gas oven. And we're going to check these again in half an hour. And I'll show you another tip of how to check cupcakes and cakes if they're fully baked. So for now, we'll leave them into the oven and wait. So, has it been half an hour? Yes. Shall we check on our yummy cupcakes? Yes. Okay, excellent. So, that was a long half now, wasn't it? Yes. And does it smell nice? Yes. Mmm, beautiful smell. Okay, I'm taking my cupcakes out. Remember kids, oven glove and adult. Wow, look at our cupcakes. Yes. Do you like them? Yes. What do they look like? Describe them. Chocolate? Chocolatey. Mm, yummy? Yummy, scrummy. Mmm, yummy, scrummy. Okay, these are done. So the tip of the day is how to check your if your cupcakes are baked. So what's this? Um, um, so, uh, what do normal people do with this? Um, <laughs> take food out of their mouth. Excellent, out of their teeth. It's a tough pick because you can pick food out of your teeth. But we are using this to test if our cupcakes are baked. So all I'm going to do is get this, kids, and poke it in my cake. Yep. This is better than using a fork or a knife because if you use a fork and a knife, your cake, all the air comes out. So I've poked it in there, I'm taking it out. And if it comes out clear, it means the cupcake's baked. And that's how you test if your cake is fully baked. Now then, our cupcakes are baked. So let's take them out carefully, kids, because they are very, very hot. 
So as you can see, I'm really happy with this because the cakes have really risen. And these are eggless cakes, aren't they? It's very hot in them, I'll do it. Okay kids, get your pens and papers ready. Here's what you need to make your very own eggless cupcakes. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of bicarbonate soda, 250 grams of butter or margarine, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, two cups of self-raising flour, one cup of caster sugar, 75 to 100 millilitres of milk, this can be any coloured top, one tin of evaporated milk, vanilla essence to taste. You'll also need some cupcake cases and a cupcake tray to bake them in. First, you need to beat the butter and the caster sugar together until it's creamy. You can also use a mixer, but please be sure to have an adult with you if you do. Then pour in some vanilla essence. We put about two lids in. It's up to you how much flavour you want. Then you mix in your evaporated milk. This is very lumpy, but this is how it's meant to look. Because once you put the flour in, it's all going to get smooth. But we are going to sift the flour so we don't have no lumps. Now it's time to add the cocoa powder. You can add as much as you want, but we added five tablespoons. Then you mix, mix, mix it all together. Now it's time to add the milk. When it looks like this, you can put it into your cupcake cases. Be careful not to make a mess. When all the cases have built up, it's time to put them into the oven. Remember kids, you must have an adult with you at all times because the oven is... Hot. Hot, hot. Set your oven to 175 degrees Celsius or gas mark 3 and wait for 30 minutes. When the cupcakes are done, wait a few minutes and check if they're cool. So all I'm going to do is get this, kids, and poke it in my cake. Yep. And if it comes out clear, it means the cupcake's baked. So, Hadnam, are our cupcakes done? Yay! Are you excited to taste these? I can't wait. Can you? You can wait, silly. So, these are our cupcakes. Are you happy with them, Hanam? Do they look nice? Yeah? Perfect. But they look a bit plain, don't they, Hanam? Would you eat a cupcake like this? Yeah. What shall we put on them? Cream? Yeah. Excellent. So we can't serve our cupcakes like this, can we? If you want to learn how to make them a bit more professional, watch us in the next show where we'll be putting fondant icing and buttercream to decorate our beautiful chocolate cupcakes. Are you looking forward to that, Hanam? Shall we do that then? Yeah? So, not in this show, kids. Please make sure you watch the next show and we will be decorating these. If there's any feedback, email us. Yeah, tap, tap away. It's info at seekchannel.tv. If you want to come onto these shows or you want to join us, all you have to do is email me. And these shows will be on our YouTube page, so if you ever miss the recipe, you can watch it. So, let's say Fateh. Why do you got Kalsa? Fate. And then we're going to have so much fun. She forgets her lines.